Okay, this is another example uh, how we can find the magnetic flux. So uh, this is an infinite wire and it has a current I. So what kind of magnetic field do you think that the wire produces on the right hand side? Well, you know from before that the infinite wire makes a magnetic field uh, going around in circles. So here on the right hand side, the magnetic field will be into the page. On the left side, it'll be an out of the page. and the magnetic field gets weaker as you go away and that's indicated by making the distance between the magnetic field lines here close here when you're close to the wire so the magnetic field is strong and they're far apart when you get go away so basically you have a magnetic field in this region and uh, the magnetic field is due to this infinite current wire so the question is asking this the following what if you imagine a rectangular uh, loop here a rectangle it's of length B and width A, and it's just a pure mathematical construction. How would you find the magnetic flux through this rectangle? And the rectangle is start, the beginning of the rectangle is at a distance C from the infinite wire. So this is just a mathematical surface, mathematical outline. So we, we want to get integration of B dot DA through this rectangle, okay? Now, what's the direction of the area vector? Remember, if this is an open surface, you need to define the area vector to be either into the page, perpendicular to the surface, into the page, or out of the page. Since the magnetic field is already into the page, then let's just put the, the, the area vector into the page too. So that when you get B dotted into the area vector, the dot product becomes just B dA. Okay, now the question is, how can we perform this integra integral? Well, remember what does this what this integration does? The integration gets b over here, and then it multiplies by this area. Then it gets b over here, and it multiplies by this area. Then it gets b over here, and it multiplies by this area. Then it gets b over here, and it multiplies by this area. Then it moves on, gets b here, and multiplies gets b here in the center sorry and then multiplies by this area then it gets b here and multiplies by the area and so on so you can notice that since the magnetic field here is all the same as you move along this line then i can simply take the magnetic field at any one of these squares and multiply by the whole area and then i can move on to get the magnetic field at any one of these squares because the magnetic field is the same at all these points and then I can multiply by this whole area, this recta big rectangle here, with a small width, but a, but a length b. And the same thing you can do continuously until you get the total magnetic field. That's what this integration does. So instead of integrating over uh, the squares, we can integrate over these larger rectangles, these rectangle surf surfaces. So this, in this case, then the element of area dA will be the area of this rectangle and the area of this rectangle is b times this width so this width we're going to say that this the distance between the wire the perpendicular distance between the wire and any point is r that means this distance is just dr so that means that the area of this rectangle is b times dr and so that makes the integration easy to do because now we don't need to integrate over two variables double integral we can just make a single integration so for this particular problem there's some symmetry that makes the problem easy to solve by doing us by converting it into an integral over a single variable so dA we can write instead of it BDR and then the magnetic field we know what the magnetic field is for any point a distance uh, r away from the wire the field has a value mu naught i over 2 pi r we derived this before for an infinite wire so if you put that in the equation, you get this integral. Now, what are the constants and what are the variables? Mu node i, b, 2 pi, they go out. And you're left with integration of dr over r. Now, where do you integrate from? The first one of these rectangular elements of area is this one. It starts out at the beginning of the rectangle. Of course, the number of, ele of elements is infinity. I just put them here finite so you can see them. So imagine the first rectangle is actually has a length b, but it's very, very, very thin here, and it's located at point c. So that's where it starts. And then the last rectangle will have a length b and very, very thin located at this point, over this, this distance over here, which is c plus a. 
So the upper limit will be C plus A. So integration of dr over r is lin r, and then you substitute the upper lin limit C plus A plus lin C, which is the lin C plus A over C. And then the C will cancel with the C, and then you have 1 plus A over C.